So we we different. We do not try to fit in into the crowd. We do not want to get lost in the mix. We should be a standout set of people. And I don't care where God's people live, whether Africa or Russia, China, the Caribbean, who cares? Do God care about that? Where you live? God feed the birds in all those areas, in all parts of the world. He feed the birds. And so God also care for us. So if we travel somewhere, do not think that we can hide ourselves in the mix. And if we try to hide ourselves in the mix, we might get lost in the mix. Because we lose God in the process. That would be very sad, won't it? The, the verse is telling us, let me read it again. That in verse 16, let your light so shine among men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The whole purpose is that men are draw, drawn to Christ. That's what it's all about. And when they see us being different, they may well ask us about our faith. Why do we go to church on Saturday? Why do we choose to, you know, honor the Sabbath from Sunday? The day really begins uh, on, at Sunday? Oh yeah. And we can show them in the scriptures that a day do not begin from midnight as we taught by the Roman calendar, but from Sunday. So, men can be drawn to Christ because of our faith. Ephesians 5, Ephesians 5 and verse 8. If you're not tired yet, uh, turn with me to that verse. I, I think I have one more for you. So just so you know. <clears throat> so stay with me just a little longer. Verse 8. For ye was sometimes darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord, walk as children of light. I remember hearing that when I was a much younger kid to, you know, buckle up myself. You, you're a good boy. You could turn it to be something good. I remember hearing that and it was not told to me alone. It was before the whole congregation speaking to all the young boys in the church. It's saying, you're the future. And speaking to all the young people in the church, you're the future of this church. I remember the minister saying, he was getting up in age, he said, I won't be with you, you know, for much longer. I know my days are coming, he said. But you have to prepare yourself to accept the responsibility coming. I remember those words. I didn't pay much attention to it then. But I tell you, as I reflect, and when I really made Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior, these things took on a different meaning. They all came back. They had a positive meaning now. Now I understood what he was saying. Now I really understand what he meant. <clears throat> because we are called people. We are a chosen, chosen people. A royal priesthood. We are peculiar before the, in the eyes of God. So it's no accident I'm here. I am chosen. I'm happy to be chosen. You chosen. Why? You fear God. You had a godly fear for Him. And so He called you out. The last verse I share with you. Oh, I think I have one more after that. Philippians 2 15. Philippians 2 and verse 15. 
that he may be blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke <coughs> in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom he shine as lights in the world. And I tell you, no better person can say this than Paul. I mean, this man come a long way from the path he was going and then that light shine on him. And Paul asked, Who art thou? And the voice said, I am Jesus whom you persecuted, persecutors. And here Paul is saying now, in verse 15, we should be blameless, harmless. Once Paul changed his way, he put all the things that he did before in the past. And now he is encouraging the, the, the Jews and the Gentile converts to, to change that way. Let no finger point at you. Saying, yeah, I saw you worshiping false idols out there. I saw you celebrating Christmas. There should be no blame, as the verse is saying, among, uh, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. We are the light of this world today. And I think the last was 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 5. 5, 5. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Complete difference between the two. What a contrast. We are of the children of the light. The word of God is light. We stand upon the word of God. We build our faith on the word of God. We build our faith on the testimony of Jesus Christ. And we will continue on this path. I encourage you to join with us and show this world, teach this world, teach our friends a different path. So we can all have that wonderful opportunity in the kingdom of God. This is what we all striving for. This is what we all want, to be in that wonderful reunion with our Lord Jesus Christ in the new Jerusalem. There will be no darkness there. There will be no pain no more suffering. All that are without or outside of it, as the verse say, sinners, dogs, sorcerers, idolaters, uh, we do not want to be among those that make and teach lies. We want to walk in the light and we encourage you to join us and continue to walk in the light. God bless you, my brother.